So, Saturday the 30th, the Twilight Zone plot thickens. I fake can't breathe. <laughs> so, if you haven't seen the suspicious connection between Floyd and that cop and the potential evidence that shows that they've known each other, worked together. There's video of um, the start of the Minneapolis riots being done by a guy dressed and all covered in black. Potentially the same cop who was chased away by people that were there who didn't want violence. Because why? Because again, I didn't put past a false flag murder to start this off, but, you know, I should have known their M.O. was to fucking bullshit everything, you know what I mean? But it's pretty clear that we have uh, questions. And when you see riots sparking in all major cities all at the same time and everybody blocking cars, we know we're back to the same bullshit that they do when they spark these kinds of protests and riots, either in the past over racial issues or overseas when they're trying to topple governments. Notice we haven't seen one of these in how long now, but all of a sudden, boom, synchronized, boom, 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 boom. We've been losing rights for three months and we can't get our asses, our heads pulled out of our asses, right? But, you know, they want the racial division. They want it. You know, there's all kinds of slip ups out there, there's a CNN clip that Game Time Woo played. If you don't watch Game Time Woo, you're you're uh, getting cheated because he's hilarious. <laughs> he does like 30 second to two minute clips of some of the bullshit propaganda going around and he sarcastically makes fun of it. He's great. And uh, he played the clip, the start of the Minnesota riots, you know, that CNN wanted you to see. And there's a dude there He's trying to get on camera. And at first, you know, the face-masked reporter is not letting him. But then she sees he's trying to, you know, pull up a shirt and show, look, I got shot with rubber bullets, man. I got shot with rubber bullets. So she wants that, and she brings it in. He's showing it, you know what I mean? And he comes out and says, you just got to know this isn't about black, white, Mexican. This is about everybody. Again, this could be a setup, too. But she rips that. Rips that microphone, that camera. They almost like run away. They don't want to hear that. They want racial division, you know. Um, they also want the violence that's being sparked. Again, if you haven't seen that video, I'll attach it to this. John X Army has it. A few people have it, Carol. Of this guy just going up and smashing out the fucking windows of places. This is what these fucking agent provocateurs do. As we've even talked about before. Uh, saying this was going to occur months back when it all starts. Um, I expected it as a result of food shortages and hyperinflation, but, you know, again, I'm not in the fucking Tavistock Institutes and Club of Rome's with them going, yeah, yeah, good idea, yeah. You know, I don't have the fuck. That's why we argue over the details. It's such a waste of fucking time because you see the big picture and you know what's coming. So they brought the event just differently, you know. Is that a positive sign that they're trying to spark? Racial division where it does not occur right now, where people are feeling like they're going through this alone together, home together. Boom, we got to split that up. Whoa, 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 home together except uh, different races, you know what I mean? Let's get that propaganda out there. Boom, you know, can't have them two home together, alone together. <laughs> Their propaganda contradicts itself. So what I'm saying is, is that a positive sign or is it completely planned, you know? Because in order to really... I would think, pull this off. You know, they would need to incite that racial division um, as opposed to allow a generic protest over food shortages, hyperinflation, economy woes, and uh, closing of businesses, and, you know, the takeover of socialism, and the inbringing of the 5G, the technology, and the COVID tracers, and the forced inoculations, all that shit, everybody coming together. That's a little more difficult to steer when there's unity there. So, oh, we gotta revert back to our baby mindset. We're the dark occultists. Let's get some racism out there. Yeah, you know. <laughs> like the whole fucking world isn't basically struggling at this point, you know? And people are, are and I'm not saying it doesn't exist. Of course it does, but not to the level they tell you. 
believe me, as one who's been around all different people my whole life as an outreach worker and social work and a retired police officer. I'm getting attacked by bugs out here. Um, you know, it doesn't exist as much as you say, as they want you to think it does. It has grown. They've certainly brought it back since uh, the Obama years. That was part of his job. Trump's job was more polarization, you know, as far as the political aspects and the psychological baby mindsets of people compared to, you know, where they want to bring it. It all comes together and cultivates each other, you know. Let's go out this way. So, you know, seems they got the, the guidebook out, you know, and they're following it step by step. Again, different timing, different, you know, details. The same exact plan played out in many various ways. Again, look at the comparisons of the virus to a terrorist. This invisible enemy, this war, you know. They use the same terminology and the same, you know, approach to war for everything. Tie it all in together. It's repackaged as a virus, you know what I mean? Ooh, the virus with... Less than 1% mortality rate. Uh, oh, the virus where all the numbers projected were bullshit. The virus that's supposed to be on every door handle and everywhere and gets more intelligent at 8 o'clock at night and can't seem to get by those fucking uh, 3 foot by 5 foot plexiglass boxes all exposed all around the other <laughs> ends of it and corners of it and underneath and all around it. Can't figure out how to get around those. Thank God they're invented. Fucking virus ain't that smart, huh? <laughs> so stupid. People are just, you know, and then if you're feeding into this as well and not seeing all of a sudden, boom, riots everywhere. Wait a minute. We've been looking for this. You know what I mean? We've been expecting this. Let me look at it. Uh, you know, like I said, for my own self, I get sick of looking at it. So I really didn't. Assumed it was pretty much a false flag from the beginning. Definitely when I saw it sparking everywhere, finally, eventually, you know, at some point last night, whatever, started to see people discuss the evidence and the connections between the cop and the victim, quote unquote. So I started looking into it a bit and, you know, it's always there, you know, it's, it's just, again, you know, still the same kickoff, the same plan to start the... The fucking division, using race, whatever they can, you know what I mean? Uh, I hope we're smarter than this. I like to think we are. Um, you know, I know most people really are, you know, but again, why they attack the way they do is because you only have to really steer one side of the dialectic to get your, your desire change, you know? That's the whole problem, reaction, solution, uh, you know, um, goal to introduce a problem or the perception of one to get a reaction, you know, the reaction that they get from these things is always a small handful of people and most of them paid, you know, adversaries of these, you know, Soros organizations and, 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 and the censorship organizations and political organizations, religious organizations, all paid for and funded by the same fucking people <laughs> through the same ways, you know, uh, so, and then they... They continue. You know, the problem is when people stay silent. That's the problem always with the whole hierarchical structure, even in, you know, the corporate world and, uh, you know, the whole structure of how the whole corporate world and education system and medical system and everything, how it's all set up, you know. Too many people just do what they're told, get their orders, get their procedures. Here's how we're going to handle you know, A, B, and C, well, orders have come down on high. That's what we got to do, you know. Instead of people going, wait a fucking minute, in droves and saying, well, this is ridiculous. This doesn't even go with the new science. This has nothing to do with, look at this study, that study, you know, basic understanding of vitamins, and immunology, and how the uh, germs need to be ingested to keep that immune system healthy. And the more you isolate it and deny it oxygen, you're actually, you know, Inducing cortisol, making yourself potentially sick from stress and producing the exosomes they want in the genetic material they want to test you for and go, hey, you're positive, you know. It's a whole 
thought out idea that all you got to do is investigate it and realize how stupid it is, but they know that people don't and won't and that they choose it then. That's how they absolve their sins, you know, from the top. Most people, however, just do what they're told for their paychecks. You know, this is why if you haven't seen Mark Passio's interview on Infowars or haven't been through his work, you really need to take some time to understand the uh, personal responsibility and the, uh, you know, individual aspects of how this takes place because we can bitch about these controllers all day. You'll even hear Alex in the interview keep going back to it and Mark trying to pull it back to the individual and the ideologies and the poison in people's minds, which are actually allegiance to satanic systems. And they don't even know that. They just picture the devil and, you know what I mean, thou shall not watch pornography and stuff like that. They don't realize their immorality by supporting government, police, wars, by ignoring um, um, harm that is caused, by initiating harm themselves in ways in their own life, writing it off as business, or by, by simple ignorance of things so they can keep their belief systems intact because psychologically that's how they function in the world. Uh, all these things are our fault. And it's how they're able to get away with it. Because if the people did not comply and they had an understanding of themselves and an understanding of what's going on around them, an understanding of more factual sets of knowledge, they couldn't get away with it. That, of course, is the good news. That means the power lies with us. That, of course, is the bad news. Because that means the power lies with all these idiots that aren't getting it, too. And they, again, as one side of the dialectic, is all that is necessary to bring about a solution to the problems they are, or illusion of problems, that they are putting forth. They figure if you're dumb enough not to know it or investigate it or have a basic understanding, then it's your fault, you know? So these are the people that hopefully are starting to see things a little differently. And I know there's people that are just entrenched in it and they'll never see it differently. And I know many of them related to some of them. I feel sorry for them. You know, again, this is, this is what is meant in the Bible when Jesus said, I have not come to unite the earth, but to bring a sword. See, because the truth is that sword and it divides. You can't pick the lie and the truth together. Jesus is the way, the truth and the light. You can't be allegiant to the lie, even if it's in ignorance and be allegiant to the truth. It's a contradiction. It doesn't work that way. So people need to listen to the man's words rather than, you know, believing in, um, you know, a religious aspect of being saved through church and belief and, you know, adherence to, you know, certain aspects of what would be called sins and other aspects being left out and substituted with, you know, other things. Like the worship of an actual external God as opposed to understanding that, that that force exists everywhere. You're a part of that force. You know, you need to come to understand it and live in harmony with it. But these people usurp that information, put themselves in as that external God, and then make the rules and get people to psychologically go along with the rules while condemning, condemning each other. You know, they're trying to play God. What these people want to do, they want to hear all, they want to see all, they want to control all, they want to distribute all, walk into all cobwebs themselves. <laughs> Shit. God, it's a million of them I keep walking into. Um, and they want to rule all, you know, and people are letting them do it. That's a big one. We'll use my foot to get that one going. It's a big ass spider in it too. This is why I go home with a thousand fucking bites, you know what I mean? Because I'm... On this, and I'm not looking at all the freaking cobwebs I'm walking into. <laughs> Anyhow, people can realize this, that it exists within. And you need to bring that into the world, that goodness, that morality, that understanding of truth, that understanding of what a right is, an act that does not initiate harm against another. With the side-by-side -side com companion of that non-aggressive principle being the self-defense principle. The, the moral aspects of standing up for truth, not allowing yourself to be harmed, to have 
harm initiated upon you, which is what people want to go do by forcing vaccinations. They think they can tell others what to do to their body and have other people force it upon them and manifest that harm. These are the belief systems that people have based in fear and ignorance and psychological ineptness. That's the key, you know what I mean? If people just had to get over a bit of fear, it would be kind of a lot easier than having to get over psychological trauma, uh, lack of confidence, constant sought for approval in the world as a physical entity and name. Recognize me, recognize me, see me, see me, instead of being recognized within and not needing acclimates from people. Uh, all these things feed that mindset that is driven into these, uh, you know, states of fear that can be controlled and steered with this propaganda and all this fake shit. So, you know, what goes on here is much deeper than just, oh, I see the evidence. I was showing people the evidence, my family, uh, over the holiday weekend. It was like they were seeing nothing, you know? It wasn't computing. They might as well have been reading Greek or, or listening to a foreign language, you know? And you can see that blank look. They don't want it to compute. But you just plant the seeds. My problem is I get frustrated with it, and I do. I'm not going to lie. I think we all do. But that's what the meditative if, if aspects of communion and self-care and, and, and you know, the, the understanding of how the thoughts trigger the feelings, which then trigger the thoughts, and ending that cycle going back and forth as we relive things that either piss us off, make us sad, get us depressed. We think about it, chemical reaction occurs, and that chemical released gives an emotion. <laughs> that emotion then triggers more thoughts about the incident. Your body doesn't understand that the incident happened in the past. It feels like it's in the moment and it releases the chemicals. And then we can get into the states of depression. I know because I've been there. Until I understood this, you know, and realizing my own traumas that I had to deal with and losses and, you know, I was reliving them as if they just occurred. I would always say, it just feels like this happened yesterday. It feels like Bob died yesterday. It feels like, because it did feel like that inside. My thoughts were triggering that. You know, and this is what it's mean by knowing thyself, knowing who we are, how we work. So we can't be manipulated and we can bring ourselves out of those kind of states of, uh, you know, you know, sadness, depression, ignorance, so that it cannot be programmed. You know, you then start to seek your own information and you can arrive there through your own critical junctures without people, you know, uh, programming you. You know, this is the way out, you know, hopefully enough people are doing it. All right. I got to stop. I'm walking. I'm covered in freaking spider webs. Uh, <laughs> plus, uh, I'm going to cut it short anyway. Tomorrow, Lisa, Jackie and I are going to do a meeting of the minds uh, discussion where we just kind of talk about lately what's been going on in our areas. We all live in, live in separate parts of the country and we try to then again tie things in to the solutions I'm talking about, the understanding of natural law everyone's rights and the illegitimacy of all this and the truth behind what's going on, which is all knowable. People just need to have the courage to jump in. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern. And for now, I'm going to pull all these cobwebs and spiders out my nose. Oh, there I got one. And uh, head on back home. Love you guys. Get learning, get speaking.